At what age should you start your 401k? And how much do you have to make save in order to comfortably retire with it? You should start contributing to your 401k as early as possible, ideally right when you begin your first full-time job. The power of compound interest works best over long periods, so the earlier you start, the more you benefit from it. Starting early. If you start contributing to your 401k in your early 20s, you can take advantage of decades of tax-deferred growth. Even if you can only contribute a small percentage of your income at first, it's better than nothing. Aim for at least enough to get your employer's match if they offer one. That match is essentially free money and a fantastic return on your investment. Mid-career contributions. If you're in your 30s or 40s and haven't started yet, don't panic. It's still crucial to begin contributing as soon as you can. You may need to contribute a higher percentage of your income to catch up. You can take advantage of catch-up contributions if you are 50 or older, which allows you to contribute more than the typical annual limit. How much should you save? The amount you need to save varies based on several factors. Your lifestyle, the cost of living in your area, your expected expenses, and your health. However, a common rule of thumb is to replace about 80% of your pre-retirement annual income. Savings targets 1. In your 20s, at least 10-15% of your income, including employer matching. 2. In your 30s and 40s, aim for 15-20% of your income. 3. In your 50s, try to maximize your contributions, especially catch-up contributions. Retirement Goals To determine how much you need in your 401k to retire comfortably, consider a simple multiple. Financial advisors often suggest having 1x your salary saved by age 30, 3x your salary by age 40, 6x by age 50, 8x 10x by age 60, living in Portland, Oregon. If you live in Portland or another area with a high cost of living, you might want to aim for the higher end of those multipliers. Portland isn't exactly known for being cheap, and healthcare costs in retirement can be notably high. Adjust regularly. Your financial situation and retirement goals will likely change over time. It's a good idea to review your contributions and retirement plan yearly, or when significant life events occur. Ultimately, you'll want to consult with a financial advisor for personalized advice. They can provide you with tailored strategies to help ensure you're on track to meet your retirement goals. Good luck.